I love that we both love the Avat Brothers. Oh yeah, they're my favorite band. And I love that your rig says so much about you, you know, even from this angle, but from every single angle. That's, that's what I love about stickers is you can kind of tell something about somebody before you even meet them, like what they're into and what you have in common and yeah. It's the modern day petroglyph. Right. right? Yeah. People used to etch things on walls. It's like, this is my story. Mm -hmm. And people that don't have stickers, I wonder about them. It's like, what are you hiding? <laughs> are Why you don't hiding? you want anybody to know anything about you? I've been thinking about getting like a God Bless Texas and NRA sticker so people think I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and they would. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, cool. So tell us tell us all about uh, your rig from the, the larger view. Okay. Yeah, what's this? Tell us about this on top. This is my um, stand up paddleboard. It's a 12 and a half foot long displacement hull racing paddleboard. I haven't paddleboarded in a year. Oh, what but, are you getting out? Well, the plan was before everything happened that I was going to winter in Florida and do races down there with some friends, and oh, that got yeah. shut down. And I thought I, I thought I would be able to paddleboard out here, but it's been really windy. So, um, but that's my stand up paddleboard, and it's on top of my solar shower. Which yeah, last year. How is that? How is your solar shift? It's great shower? now. I had it running back to front last year, and it was too heavy to pop my top up when it was filled. Oh, that so makes sense. That's, Jamie um, changed it for me last year, and we put it across the back axle so it's oh, not doesn't impact. Clever. This is a Avett Brothers. More Avett Brothers lyric. Tonight we're doing acoustic stuff, and I think oh. Dave and I are going to do No Hard Feelings. Nice. Which is my favorite song by them. Oh yeah. This, I came out of the apartment one day and it was sitting on my windshield and it had a note and it said, this was in my 72 bus, I want you to have it. And it said, Veronica. From a stranger? Apartment 333. Yeah, in my daughter's apartment complex. Oh, and that's I'm like, so sweet. Cool, I'll put that in there. It I was somebody it. who was like feeling what you're doing uh -huh. and like some solidarity there, yeah. that's cool. So, so I was um, painting on rocks and then I just decided, well, I can paint on my van if I want to. And so <laughs> these are from my, they were, I don't know, things I painted on rocks, just the flowers and stuff. Live the dream, because I am. Mm -hmm. Bernie has his eyeballs on right now. So, oh, I love that. You know, one blew off, so he's a little, I don't know. He's a little cockeyed. Yeah. That's okay. Is Bernie named after Bernie Sanders? Um, no, actually. I saw a Bernie sticker on the back. Right. That was given to me because somebody heard oh, that his Bernie. name was, okay, was Bernie. Cool. But, um, actually, when I first got the van, Everybody else that has Volkswagens, they all have cute names for it. So I was trying to think of its name, and I'm like Dolly, Daisy, and nothing stuck. Yeah. And then I said, well, maybe it's a boy. Maybe it's a boy. And yeah. I'm like, okay, what would Did a you check underneath? I'm or? like, what would a 30 year old German be named? I'm like, I don't know, Bernie. So he's <laughs> Bernie, like weekend at Bernie's. Oh, uh, yeah, Anyways. sure enough. So yeah, Bernie. Oh, cool. And then you've got quotes everywhere that I assume are pretty personal to you. Yeah, this one uh, by Confucius I really like. We have two lives and the second begins when we realize we only have one. Oh. And I thought I was doing that, but then when the cancer came back, it's like, whoa, yeah. So maybe there's more than two. Well, <laughs> when we really learn it. When we really, really <laughs> learned it. But yeah, and these are out of, you know. And you the, did that? Yes, I, I did love, that. I love the artwork. That I was, yeah, I write on all my stuff. My kids are like, what? I write on my comforter. Graffiti. I wrote on the ceiling and my van. <laughs> um, so tell us about the inside. You've got uh, this is original, yes. Yeah. The Westphalia. so the Westphalia conversion. So it's a VW okay. van again van, and then the Westphalia does the conversion, which is there's a two burner stove and a sink, and um, there was a refrigerator, but it that was taken out last year at the van build too, and I have um, just a little pantry there. It's beautiful. And a comfortable bed that converts into a Well, this couch. converts, it, they say it seats four and sleeps four. So you can have two people upstairs and two people downstairs. Oh, right, you've got a loft. Yes, I have a loft. I sleep up there. My dog, who's not with me right now, yeah. sleeps downstairs. And uh, yeah, got her own space. He can't get in my bed. <laughs> and it says mom. You have three kids? I have two. Two um, kids. Yeah, my youngest daughter made that for me. And I had it hanging in my garage at the house. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh, it goes. Like, where, where can I put yeah. this? Yeah. Do I have room in my van? And yes, I do. And it totally goes. Yes, it does. And she made it like she was 10. I love the color in oh, here. Thanks. I mean, the colors. You're like, which um, one? <laughs> right. I got them all. <laughs> you do. I think you hit all of the colors. And I love that. My rig doesn't have near enough color. My, um, I love it. I brought a lot of desert. Have you been in my house? To get... Yeah, to get something out of your freezer. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> well, I brought the outdoors in. Um, come in and uh, 
show me around. I kind of, I've brought the outdoors in. It's got a lot of desert in my rig. Um, uh -huh. So it's a lot of like earth tones and gray, but I'm starting to incorporate some color. Um, well, I drove truck for 31 years wearing a brown uniform and this was, <laughs> it was tan and brown, beige. Every, there was no color anywhere. Mm. So I'm like, I'm having color in yeah. as much as I want. Yeah. So it's I, been fun to decorate. Did you do that fish? No, I bought that at a musical festival. That's fantastic. Does that have a name? It looks worth No, it but it was, it was hanging in my living room. That's when I've had it for uh, years. I see. So there were certain things that that you brought with that you. made the cut. Yes, yeah. Yes, so not much. It was but one of them. Yeah, it goes. It definitely fits. Oh, uh, yeah. That's it's a my house plan. plan. <laughs> <laughs> Crocheted cactus. Yeah, this, the house plant. I need to get a new pot for it, but I lo oh, it's outgrowing the pot. You need to resoil it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Oh, you have a flute. Do you play? Uh, I'm trying to play. I've made a couple of flutes. Nothing that's pretty, though. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I, I'm embarrassed to play it when people can hear me. So oh, I haven't yeah, really I practiced have not, I have not practiced I just got that in Sedona not too long ago. It's really beautiful. Yeah, just sit in here and play yourself the flute all the time. Well, I just learned how to play my bowl yesterday. You had, so. Oh, this is a singing bowl. Yeah, so I've had it for a year. And I didn't know how to play it, and Chris across the road taught me how to play it yesterday. So. Cool. Have you met Ward? He has a singing bowl as well. He's a guy with the hand pan. The one that paints. Uh huh. Yes, I did meet him. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't know he had a singing bowl. Yeah. What do your kids think about your about your um, lifestyle? You said one of your daughters is like, did you retire that was cool. or retire too early or? Yeah, my oldest daughter who's so twenty nine. Yeah. Um. But. You know, my motto is everything works out for Becky. So I'm like, I'm not even worried about things. Yeah, like, it'll, it'll work out, it'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, the youngest daughter is in uh, Michigan going to school. She wants to be a high school English teacher Ooh. or teach English as a second language cool. overseas. And she's doing a study abroad in the Netherlands in May. And then my oldest daughter's in Oceanside, California and her and her husband are pregnant and she's due in April. Aww. My first grandbaby can be granddaughter, so. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So. Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if sometime they followed in your footsteps. It's such an alluring life. Oh yeah, um, well right now they're like, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take my grandkids out in the desert with me. And they're like, no, you're not. <laughs> really, no, I want to. <laughs> Mommy's such a rebel. But, yeah. Well, wonderful. So, as soon as I get my dog back, then it'll be complete. <laughs> yes, yes, your big awesome dog. Mm -hmm. It's a big happy dog. But um, I took the, they say make room for what you want in your life. So I took out the front seat and made him a nice comfortable bed. So I'm like hoping Manifesting he Manifesting his return. I'm hoping he comes yeah. soon, but um, yeah. yeah. In the meantime, there's his picture. <laughs> ah, that's good, that's mm -hmm. such, I remember that pup, great pup. Oh, yeah. Well, let's sit and chat and hear kind of uh, what the story was. Let's just sit here on your okay. lovely lawn. Oh, cool, let's do that. <laughs> Hey Becky. Hi Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to remind me how long you've been on the road? Um, since Labor Day of last year, so beginning of September it was a year. Okay. So tell us what your journey was like, what your life was before this, um, what the contrasts are and how you got here from there. Okay, well I was a delivery driver for UPS for 31 years in northern Michigan oh. <laughs> through winter, snow, ice. <sighs> Hated it. And um, I wanted to, uh, with the retirement, I'm like, it's not gonna go far and I wanna travel. And so oh. I um, learned about van life on YouTube and I'm like, well, I think I could do that. And I um, don't know what came first. I think the van came first. Mm. And then I'm like, well, I think I could live in it. <laughs> um, this inspires yeah, living in it. Yeah. Well, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. um, be a shame not to live in this thing. Right, so it's. I retired, uh, It'll be two years in January. I retired and sold my house, and took six months to sell it, and sold my daily driver the same day, and loaded my dog up in the van, and we took off um, Labor Day weekend, floated across Lake Michigan on a car ferry, and my I was headed to the Pacific Northwest to see the giant redwoods, uh, and that was the first place I was going. So, it, um, go west. Yeah, go west, and it was just as awesome as I thought it was gonna be and the camping in Oregon is awesome and that was your first stop yeah cool and then from there where do you go everywhere or do you come um, well then I went to descend on Ben which was a uh -huh. van life gathering yeah. and um, I wanted to meet other people that were doing it so I could learn how to do it and maybe meet some people to caravan with and yeah 
I ended up meeting um, people to caravan with, and like my friend Jimmy that just left, he, you know, here we are still a year later, still mm -hmm. traveling, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it awesome. Oh, it is awesome. The community for me, like once I found that part, it all clicked together. Oh yeah. Once I had the, once I got this um, transient neighborhood and had a tribe, I was like, now it works all the way. Well, yeah, it's like these people, it's like, well, I met them in Oregon, and then we went to Arizona, and then I saw them again in Arizona, and then they visited me when I was in Colorado, and it's like, it's so yeah, mobile. It it's is. It's like, well, who's near me? Who can I go visit right now? Yeah, and it's diverse and expansive, and it's not always the same people. It's certainly not always the same scenery. Oh, no. A um, lot of variety. Mm -hmm. You can't get bored. No, you can't. And such a sense of community was awesome. So what was the thought process as you were going from what sounds pretty conventional? Um, yeah, well, I had... Downsizing was big for me. I, uh, once I once my kids were out of the house and I had a three-bedroom house with a full basement and two-car garage and started getting rid of all this stuff you accumulate over the years that you really, you know, your whole life, you start out in a little shitty apartment and like, oh, I can't wait to buy stuff to fill it up. And then when you get more money, you buy nicer stuff. But it's it's just stuff and you yes. don't need any of it. So it, would, it was nice getting rid of that. And then I was basically living in my bedroom. I'm like, I don't need all this. I'm like, I said, if I did retire, I could get rid of the house. And all my money would be for travel. Yes. So I'm like, that's what I did. You've paid your dues and yeah. you were in Michigan and cold and a you know, if I could put words in your mouth, a slave to this, you know, thing, and now you're like making up for lost time. The uh, my whole goal to do this was to um, drive down roads I've never been down before mm -hmm. because being told what roads you're going to drive down every day sucks. Yes. And then uh, to never see winter again. Yes. So, like mission accomplished. Hard time <laughs> on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. It's hard for me to picture you any other way honestly <laughs> well, I'm trying to see you as this delivery driver for 31 years this you know? uh, van was two-tone brown when I bought it and I'm like oh, I just want to paint it yes. so badly yeah and, uh, yeah because I can't drive a stick shift brown van when I retire <laughs> oh, I just think of you as like this really inspired inspiring person have you always been that or did it kind of just um, come out of you when you it well the job was really mentally bad and I had to uh. figure out how to deal with that and became more positive and yes we cleanse. block out the bad stuff and mm -hmm. and started yoga and it all kind of led to everything's connected and um well i don't have time to be balanced when i have a regular job yeah this is or to be so well, much better yeah to invest in my health and mm -hmm. it was it was a lot easier when i quit tv once oh, I, yes. Once I quit TV, I'm like, I have all this time that <laughs> yeah. I would get up four hours before I had to go to work and work out and do uh -huh. yoga and meditate. I had time for everything. Didn't you miss the shows, though? It, <laughs> you know, not really. And I mean, when, people tell me, they're like, you got to check out this series. You will love it. And I'm like, thanks for the warning. I'll steer clear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the only thing I'm watching right now is Survivor. So I mean, oh, really? it's one show a week, guilty pleasure, but my kids are watching it. So I do. I... I watch mad documentaries on Netflix, so it's not that I don't get screen time, but I'm selective. Yeah. Um, well, so what's the contrast? Like, um, how is your life different? How are you different? What's been the difference between oh, that life and this life? Like, zero responsibilities. Uh -huh. Like, I... This is a responsibility. We're homeowners. Well, yeah, but there's no... <laughs> this is the only yard I have to take care of. It doesn't need mowing, you know? It's right. always wonderful. Um, there's just less to do. Yeah. And there's, everything's right here, so. It's burdens lifted. Yes, it's, um, as long as you're organized, everything's easier. When you have nothing and you keep it tidy. Yeah, it's like, it's like you don't even have to worry about things. It's, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, beautiful. It's zero responsibilities. That's what I'm enjoying. So your life took an unexpected turn once you hit the road. Tell us a little bit about oh, that. Yeah, so I left uh, Labor Day weekend of last year and I was out about three weeks into van life when my lymph node started swelling up on my left side. and. Uh, um, According to WebMD, that's not really good. <laughs> so um, I um, ended up going to Planned Parenthood because I didn't have insurance um, because I retired early. And uh, anyways, got a mammogram and a biopsy, and it turned out it was stage four breast cancer. It spread from my breast to my lymph nodes on the left side, and um, I uh, found that out 
let's see, October 30th of last year, I was at the Van Build. Yes, yeah, I met you I right would, after um, that, right? Yes, the Van Build started November 1st last year. I got here on October 30th, and yeah. I was here for four hours and got the phone call. I'm like, well, I just want to stay, I just want to stay through the beginning of the Van Build. I mean, like, this was something I was looking forward to. and. Leaving, I had my van, um, Jamie did my van build first last year. We removed my refrigerator, put some shelves in there, and tweaked my um, solar shower. Uh -huh. And then I, that night I took off for San Diego where my daughter lives. And it was, it was so hard because I was leaving this life yeah. that I just, I'd wanted for so long. And now I was actually doing it and enjoying it and going to something I didn't want to do or didn't even want to face. and. Um, put all this on hold. But here I am a year later and I'm right back here and um, I still have the cancer. Um, you still have the cancer? I still have the cancer. It's um, I had my left breast removed in August and they did a scan in September and it spread from the lymph nodes on the left side to the right side. But we've changed my chemo so now I'm taking pills and I have more freedom. So I just have to go back to the every three weeks. Oh, okay. for a doctor's appointment, check my levels and stuff, make sure everything's okay, give me more pills. You seem well for being on chemo. Yes, the only side effects I'm having with this are some um, sensitivity in my palms of my hands and soles of my feet. Uh -huh. But you know. And you're medicating to mitigate, mitigate the... Yeah, it's, I mean, they said just take lotion and coat them up, but um, the chemo I think is working because my lymph nodes went back down, so uh -huh. on both sides. Yeah. So I'm, you know, I'm hoping this works, but I'm also doing Rick Simpson oil and all kinds of other things. Good. And my head's in a good space right now. Yeah, I can so feel that. I can, yeah. I'm so much better being out on the road and just driving out here and driving back to the life I wanted to live. And, yeah. Do you yeah. think it was good timing that, do you think it was good timing? How the, the way it I, you know, when it first happened, my daughter said to me, she's like, do you ever think maybe you retired too early? And I'm like, whoa. I said. <laughs> No, that thought never entered my mind. Um, but if it hadn't all fallen in the way it had, I mean, I retired, I got my retirement, then found out I had cancer and then was able to get, I mean, I'd already sold my house, so I was basically I could, I don't know what the criteria were for the insurance I got, but I qualified and um, I think because I didn't have a residence someplace else, mm -hmm. so I could. Anyways, um, I have insurance, and then I qualified for my Social Security disability. So where before things were tight, it's like, wow, now I got money. And um, yeah, um, the cancer has brought about all these things I was trying to manifest in my life. Mm. I mean, it's a weird way of getting things, sure. but you yeah. know, it's working. As long as I get rid of the cancer, I guess, you know, it's right. cool. Then you won't um, mind the, uh, the right. silver linings that came with it. Yeah, yeah. And there, but there's all kinds of positive things that have come out of it. Um, Wow. Yeah. Well, I like that kind of open-minded surrender, you know, uh -huh. of just like, come what may. I'm like, well, you know, all everything happens for a reason. I don't know what the reason is for this yet, but... But you can see the good things. Oh, yeah, all those kind of things. And, you know, I have a little YouTube channel that... Um, it's kind of my journey, so my dad can see what's going on, and oh, my yeah. mom and stuff. And um, What's your YouTube channel? It's um, Van Life with Bernie, Becky, and Hank. Van Life with Bernie, Becky, and Hank. Bernie's the van. I'm Becky. My dog, Hank, is in Colorado right now. But um, The people that leave comments, and they're supportive and from all over the world, and then they're saying they're living vicariously through me, like mm. they have some kind of whatever that prevents them from ever doing this but right or they're saying well you know if you can do this right. with stage uh, I'm four sure cancer it inspires people. why i'm sure i can do it i'm healthy you yeah know? it's um, a matter of time till people say becky you're the reason that i, I got free yeah and i'm i'm hearing that and it's like wow you know i'm an inspiration <laughs> of course cool yeah. i'm just doing me you know yeah. but okay they say um just do you because you never know who's I mean people that pretend they don't even see you are oh, inspired by you we so watch it's each like, other yeah I'm like okay cool yeah that's awesome spreading your influence you know mm-hmm because you've got great perspective just I'm just happy to be here in the moment in this moment you and I are, are completely the same I may have cancer but right now we are both alive in the yeah. same space and mm -hmm. like Honestly, isn't that just the best attitude to have about everything is I'm just happy to be here. Like, right, yeah. Uh, if you really believe you're lucky. Oh, God. 
Gosh, yeah. You are, because I think we all are, but some of us have have lenses to see it and some of us have blinders on. Well, it's it. like, you know, if you're not thankful for what you have, how can you expect to receive more? You're right, you receive mm -hmm. more. Like, you're not even grateful for what you have. Yeah. Why should I give you anything? You have this else? lovely lawn, this I, lovely home. Yeah. This is abundance. Oh, yeah. It's everything I need. And this more. is the good life. Oh, yeah. It is. I mean, it's, uh, snowing in northern Michigan right now Bless and their hearts and I don't have to work in it <laughs> so it's when awesome. I discovered Arizona I was like you can opt out of winter right. do people know about this why would anyone do winter if you could just like opt out yeah <laughs> right uh yeah it's a good life mm -hmm. well um so what do you miss about living in sticks and bricks when you're on the road um well if you get sick yes you miss you miss a house. Like I um, went to Mesa Verde National Park and got there late and went, I couldn't do anything that night. So I went to the laundry, shower, went to the camp store, bought a hot dog <laughs> and midnight woke up. Mm -mm. <laughs> Um, I have to eat an annual hot dog. Just and it, it was sick. So at 9.30 the next morning, I'm like, I have an hour and a half. I have to get off this campsite. I'm like, Ugh. right. I found the nearest motel and checked in. Yeah. So when you're sick, get a, get a motel and yeah. just, you know, don't try and brave it out. Don't be a hero. Yeah. Be comfortable. I had pertussis in my, when I lived in my compact car. <laughs> And that was the only time I hated my life when I was in my, uh, otherwise I was just, I loved everything. But when I, when I had pertussis uh -huh. in a compact car, I was like, I want a big house. <laughs> I want money. I want a big bed. I want a shower. I want a husband, you know, like, and then I got better and I was like, no, I'm all right. You know, but yeah, I feel that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so what's the best part? Um, of being on the road. Um, you, you can already answer. Well, yeah, give me what you got. I like the, um, if I change my mind, all I have to do is turn the steering wheel. I don't have to go home and pack anything. I don't have to talk to anybody. I mean, I'm on my own, so I don't have to take anybody else's input into consideration. It's like, I don't know, it's freeing. Yeah, we're driving our own lives. We're the yeah. driver now. Yes. Um, and wherever I want to go and when I'm driving if I see something that's cool I'll turn around and go back and look at it yeah and um, that's what the other animals get to do well for so long for driving for UPS it's like you go here and then you go here you don't it's like <laughs> and do yay, it by this finally time. I get to go down this road I've always wanted to go down this road and I've never had a package down this road before yay but um so this is I can drive down whatever road I want to that's fantastic mm -hmm. Well, thanks for sharing with us, well, Becky. Thanks I think for stopping by. It's lovely. You definitely have light. Well, thanks. So I like that you're around. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I like that you're around, too. Thank you. <laughs>